Hey everybody, um, it's Father's Day, uh, Saturday, we're actually going to do a two Father's Day. This is my nephew Ben, this guy is the second highest person to jump in Wisconsin, he's been breaking all sorts of records, and he gets to be my Uki, that means he gets to attack me and get wiped out. We're going to be going over knife today, so uh, I'm going to go over to just some basic knife defense. Uh, this is just instructional, talk to your physician. You know, blah, 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 please don't sue me. I'm just showing you guys stuff for fun. All right, first thing we're gonna do is, uh, Ben's gonna be thrusting at my, my kidney here. So from here, I'm gonna strip this. A couple things are gonna happen. I'm gonna eject the knife into his face, dislocate his wrist, jam my fingers in his eyes, and break his elbow all in one motion. This is what it would look like. This would normally eject there, hit the eye, break the arm. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, now we'll do it a little bit faster. So just go down the There, eject, there. You can also throw as well. Um, another thing, if he's doing a thrust on the low line, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of bend his arm here. This releases his grip. From here, I'm gonna just almost punch it with the web of my thumb and dislocate and stab there. So again, I go here, dislocate there. Now, I can also control him from here by locking it and take him all the way to the ground if I want to. Um, uh, give me a slash of throat. This is a pat. You'll notice that I'm catching with the back of my arm. The reason being is there's no major arteries, tendons, or ligaments here, so if I screw it up, if he shortens that cut, I'm not going to be bleeding to death. So, do it again at the neck. I bring it past, I'm going to grab his thumb. From here, I can eject it. You'll notice that, again, it's the back of my hand. I'm going to fly to the blade. This will eject towards his face, and he's poking the eyes at the same time. So, again. Boom, eject, and eye spear. What do you got that for? Um, okay, uh, another thing you can do, cut again. Let's say I want to change his direction. You can throw him from there and take the knife. Uh, here you go. Um, if he comes with a backward slash, I can either catch it here or here. Um, this would be better. Again, you can lock him down, take him down to the ground. I can also stab him with his own knife. See where that's happening? There, again, right from there. Uh, back and slash. I can also break it with the knife. And then from there, again, throw him. Uh, there you go. Um, you can also do uh, energy drills with these. Um, I've got my knife, he's got his knife. Actually, just drop the knife for now. Remember that punch? That motion there. This is who, bud. Now this can be utilized with the knives. This can be utilized off of a thrust. He thrusts. I pass it. I cut. I I I can cut or or hit, trap, and then I thrust. And he's in the. See where that goes. Now, uh, we can also do another one. Remember the uh, dollar chop? There's this one. This comes from Kuba. He's Thai and Untai in the Indonesian arts. And this can also work with knives. Cut. Nice. Okay, and you can also use reverse grip. Take a reverse grip. Yeah. You gotta catch it faster because he's got six inch extension on you. Now, the other thing you can do, jump right, uh, elbow. So you just go into my jawline. So I can stop it, pass it, and then throw mine at his elbow or at his jaw. Now, you can do this with the knives in the reverse grip. So, if he's trying to cut, I'm gonna, I normally would stop here, but because it's pussy so close to the blade, I'm gonna just pass it on the outside, 
get it down out of the way, and then I'm gonna try and slice him. Nope, that side. Okay, so a couple of different energy drills you can do. Now, let's say that I've got a knife and he's got a knife. He's gonna slice at the neck. This is called uh, gunting, which means scissors. I would pass it and cut it. Now, from here, I wanna make sure he's not gonna cut back at me. This actually will dig more into his arm if he tries to backhand. See what's happening? It's actually trapping you because it's in your arm. Start again. So from here, do I just have, if you don't, if you miss or whatever, I can still trap it and go. Start again. Boom, boom, boom. There. Now, um, what's some other fun things? I can take it on a reverse grip. Same thing. He's cutting. I'm going to catch it here, and I'm going to pass it, and we're going to stab him with both knives. See how I got both knives going in him? So, again, I pick it up, strip it, and go in. Oh, what's some other stuff? Um, if he does like a backhand, and I catch it here, I can twist it over, and I can take him down there. I can actually make him cut his own throat with his own knife. And I can also cut his arm, the soft tissue there, while I'm throwing him. Uh, let's see where are some other fun things. Uh, all right, we're gonna do a, a drill called the kit. What? No, no, no. I want you, he's going to attack me, I'm gonna strip the weapon, I'm gonna attack him, but we're gonna soon strip weapons and attack going back and back. Okay, I'm gonna strip the weapon, whatever you wanna do. Anything you wanna do, but you have to take the knife. Okay. Break the arm, slam, put the grab the arm, and do some sort of a strip. I don't care how you do it. Take the attack. There. There. Good. Control it, control it. Very good. Okay. Cool. Break. Good. That's very nice. Good. Yep. <laughs> ah. Always try and isolate the rest. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, again, attack again. Any kind of attack. And here I'm kind of binding up his leg and his arm. There you go. Attack. I can also control it this way. Steal it. There you go. Nice. Very good. Good. Very good. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. This is Ben Krogan, my nephew. Love him to death. Take care, everybody. Track.